as you can see, currently I only have a Gmail email address inside my Bravo account, but a free email is not recommended. So if you do send email campaigns with a free email domain, like a Gmail email address, and since these email addresses cannot be authenticated, Bravo will auto replace your domain with bravosend.com. So just so you know. So to authenticate your email address, we're gonna go to the top right corner over here and we're gonna click on senders and domains. And then we're gonna add a new sender. So I'm gonna enter my name and I'm gonna enter the from email address. So the email address we want to add to our Bravo account and we're gonna click on save. So I've received the verification code and I need to enter it over here. I just did it. So now as you can see, I added my email address, but the domain creatorrec.com isn't authenticated yet. So that's what we're gonna do next. So we're gonna click on domains and we're gonna add a domain. So I'm gonna enter my domain name. I'm gonna click on add a domain. So we can go with the first option, which is authenticate the domain automatically. But that means we have to give Bravo access to our web hosting. So let's say we want to go with the first option. I'm going to click on continue. I'm going to click on continue again. So as you can see, Bravo recognized that I'm with Hostinger with my domain. So the next step is that you have to log in with your hosting and credentials inside Bravo. So if you aren't comfortable with doing that, you can also do it manually. And here you can see the DNS records we have to add to our DNS settings inside our web hosting. So I'm gonna do it manually for the ones that don't want to give Bravo access to uh, their web hosting account so you can see how it works. So I'm now logged in into my hosting account and I'm gonna go to my domain portfolio and I'm gonna click on edit the DNS settings. So as you can see, we have to add three new records to our DNS settings. And the first one is a text record. So I'm gonna go back to my hosting account and we're gonna add a new record. So the first one is a text record. They were all text record actually. So text record. We're gonna go back to Bravo. So I'm gonna copy this first part, the host name. It's not that difficult, it's already here. So then the text value. So I'm gonna copy the text value and I'm gonna paste it in here as well. And I'm gonna say add this record. The next stop, we have another text record. This is the DMARC. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go back to Hostinger. We're gonna add a new uh, DNS records. I'm gonna go for text again. For the name, I'm gonna remove this and I'm gonna add the D mark just as I copy it inside Bravo. I'm gonna copy this entire line again, the value, and I'm gonna paste that in here. And I'm gonna click on add the records. Then we have the last one is also a text record. I'm gonna go back to Hostinger text records for the name. I'm gonna paste in this value and then I'm gonna copy this as well. And I'm gonna paste that in here and I'm gonna add the record. So now we added all three records. So since I didn't use this part over here, uh, I cannot click continue. So I'm gonna click here, use manual setup instead. And for some reason I got redirected back to this screen. So I'm gonna refresh this page. So this is the domain we just added. I'm gonna click on authenticate. I'm gonna click on the middle option, authenticate the domain myself. I'm gonna click on continue. So the values you see over here should be the same as the values we just copied uh, earlier screen. So I'm gonna click on authenticate this email domain since we already added those records. Authenticate this email domain. And as you can see now the domain state this is authenticated. So now as you can see, if you send a new campaign, that new email address will be listed as a new sender. So what I shared in this video is just one of the many topics I cover in my Bravo course called Bravo University. And I basically want to show you everything Bravo can do, like using the form builder. I want to show you Bravo segmentation builder, the CRM features Bravo offers. So basically all of Bravo features you see on the left hand side on the dashboard.